Hey folks, so we are here deep in the bowels of the 2K booth at uh, E3 2011. I'm joined by Jonathan Pelling, creative director of XCOM. Jonathan, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, this this definitely we are we are here in this awesome room. This 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 uh, just feels like an extension of the the vibe of what you guys are going for uh, with XCOM. This uh, you know you're, you're set in 1962, very uh, Americana. What was kind of the, the inspiration? You guys coming just straight off of uh, of Bioshock 2. What was the inspiration to to kind of go for this aesthetic? Um, well, it's partly driven by um, the, the, the fact that we want to tell an origin story with, with XCOM. So, so going back in time a little bit um, sort of creates that really nice established world that you can draw from. And, and it also sort of sets the tone of the human faction within XCOM um, as, as something that needs to uh, strive ahead and be, um, you know, step beyond its, its boundaries in order to succeed against the aliens. So we haven't seen hide nor hair of this game in a, a solid year, and you guys have obviously been, you know, you've been dark for, for that long, and, and you've been doing a lot of work on the game. What, what kind of in, inspired you guys to, to go back and, and take a hard look and, and kind of retool some of the stuff in XCOM? Um, yeah, well, I mean, partly it's driven by the fact that we really want to, we, we don't want people to think that this is uh, um, uh, Bioshock with aliens, basically. Uh, over the past year, we've been spending a lot of time um, sort of developing on, um, you know, what we showed last year. We didn't show, um, you know, a big part of the game last year on purpose, and uh, this year we're sort of stepping out and, and, and revealing more about, um, you know, the RPG mechanics and the, the, the tactical nature of combat and how you can capture alien technology and turn it against the aliens themselves. Uh, so let's let's talk a little bit. I've, I've, I've been in the theater. I've seen the demo. Uh, obviously, we can't show that to the folks at home just yet. Um, but uh, can, can you talk just a little bit about these RPG elements and, and also the tactical kind of uh, strategic elements in the game uh, that you guys ha have since uh, added or at least revealed? Yeah, so, um, you know, one of the really um, central parts of, of of a game that can be called XCOM, I think, is is the is the mix of strategy and tactics, um, and uh, you know that's definitely very strong within our game. You've got um, you know the long term progression where um, you know you, you can build a squad of agents. Um, the agents all have um, you know uh, uh, stats and powers and, and and can grow over time as you equip them with more um, alien technology. The, the idea that every alien is an opportunity um, is really central to the game. Um, every alien piece of um, technology that you uh, come across can in some way be um, subverted and, uh, and twisted um, to your ends against um, the invading force of the aliens. So is there sort of a, a risk-reward factor here, or, I mean, I, I guess, you know, I, I watched the demo and there, there are a couple of, of big enemies, that, that big alien enemies that, that you face that uh, that you end up capturing there, and, and you can either, you know, take those back and use those for, for research purposes or deploy them back in the field. Is there is there any reason why you wouldn't try to just, uh, you know, capture that stuff every single time you see it? Um, yeah, well, uh, we, we want you to capture that stuff. You know, that's that's where uh, the, the, the interesting um, tactics um, can emerge. I mean, uh, you know, it would be possible just to kill everything that you see, but the game gets that much more interesting when you're enticed to um, try and do something more, to, to use your tools in an interesting way to uh, to meet some goal that the tactical uh, scenario presents. Um, and so when you uh, see a turret or you see a giant alien or, you uh, you know, you see uh, a really interesting piece of technology that they're using against you, like maybe a, a weapon or something like that, um, you're motivated to go and, uh, and, and try and, uh, you know, do what it takes to get your hands on that piece of technology. And then you can either uh, turn it against them immediately, um, say you've uh, captured um, the Titan, as you might have seen in the demo. Right. Um, it basically enables you to um, to bring down an airstrike on the enemy um, immediately or as soon as you want. Um, but at the same time, if you're, if you're more... If you're thinking about uh, the long-term progression and you want to um, sort of keep that back and, and use that to boost um, maybe the, the, the technology that equips you on your agents or the, or the weapons that you carry, um, you can do that as well. So, um, so uh, you know, there's a tier of like decision making that you can make on any given tactical scenario that, um, uh, you know, fulfills both short-term um, needs or desires, but also long-term progression. So we, we we've got the you know the the mid-century Americana the the, the FBI G-man kind of vibe going on with with the the, the agents and the the main character. Um, there's you know with the 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 black the the monolith the pylons like there's a, a clear kind of 2001 uh, a vibe going there. Uh, as far as kind of the the look of the you know the uh, the alien weapons that the the agents have have taken and, and you know reappropriated. Any sort of sources of, of inspiration for the the look and feel of of that part or, or uh, uh, the the aliens themselves? 
Um, well, with the aliens, we really wanted to um, sort of um, step outside of what is expected from from an alien enemy because you know you can be with aliens, you can be really as creative as as your technology allows or or, or you can imagine. Um, and uh, you know, there's there's no reason to limit yourself to um, uh, monsterish kind of, um, of aliens. And uh, you know, so we really wanted to. Um, sort of move move outside of that and try and find something unique. And so there's a, there's a big variety of enemies in the game. Um, there are some humanoids, there are some abstract um, forms. Um, you know, they have um, different capabilities, like they can transform. Um, they uh, and, and of course they can all be um, sort of subverted and, and, and captured. Excellent. Well, uh, Jonathan, thank you so much for your time. Have a good show. Thank you very much.